Hey, I hope you're doing well out there. So some things to keep in mind as you get ready for spring cleaning, especially we're just moving into spring right now, so you may be raking or cleaning up the yard. Essentially, you wanna make sure you're warmed up and ready to go. So this kind of thing can be done before or it can be done after. But keep in mind, as you're raking, you're gonna be going through this motion, right? So lots of gripping, lots of forearms, lots of back, right? And if you're picking up bags of leaves, you're gonna be using your hips, hopefully, and maybe your back a bit. But keep in mind that some of these areas, so your forearms and your lats may get tight and be stiff after, right? So you may experience some discomfort the next day or two days down the road, and that can be normal, right? If it carries on for any longer than a few days, keep in mind that may be something you actually injured. If you're going from um, very little movement all winter to lots of movement all of a sudden going zero to 60 miles per hour, raking and cleaning up your yard, then you may be um, hurt, you may be uncomfortable, but you may have actually um, done some damage if things go on any longer than a couple of days, okay? So keep in mind, um, some things you can do on your own is if your lats are really tight, so the muscles through here and underneath your rib cage, tie into your back, just, you wanna mobilize them, right? So hang out here. And I would just put my hand on a wall and just get nice and square with the wall. And driving force is going this way at your chest level. So hips are, bending at the hips rather, and just breathing. So you wanna loosen up all this area and just hang out there and breathe. Um, I would recommend anywhere from 30 seconds to three minutes. When it gets a little easier when you've come down and it's, it's actually less tension and easier, then you know you've done your job, okay? So you do that for both sides, just loosen up. You either do it before or you can do it after just to mobilize and keep those areas loose so you don't feel so much discomfort. Another thing is the forearms, right? So if you're used to working on a desk all day like this, and then all of a sudden um, you have to use your forearms way more and you're gripping and picking up bags, is keep in mind your forearms may be really stiff and tight, right? So what you wanna do is just open them up. And what I would do is just keep your elbow bent slightly. And this is my, my focus through here on that inside of your elbow. Just hang out and hold that. Right? And remember, if you're getting numbness, tingling in your hand, you're doing it too aggressively, you need to back off a bit. Right? But this one, I'll hang out here, I'll even bounce at the end just a little bit, move about maybe a quarter inch on my fingertips, because all the muscles come down from here and insert down your palm and some into your uh, fingers. Right? So just hang out there, you can do it, any, again, 30 seconds to three minutes. Right? And just because this area may be uncomfortable, don't forget this area too. Even if it doesn't have any symptoms, still make sure it moves well. So you can just hang out like that. And for this one, I'll even straighten my arm. And really, these are things you can do, especially the forearm one, is just sitting at night while you're um, watching TV after you've cleaned up the yard or whatever it may be. But just loosen up these areas. And going through a range of motion may even help as well. So you can actually get a water bottle. And remember, a water bottle is about one pound, right? And just hang out here. Right? Now you're just exercising your extensors or you can exercise your flexors this way. But essentially you're pumping some blood through the area and flushing out the garbage and bringing in the groceries. Right? So think about it like that. So give those a try and especially as you get into spring cleaning and doing your thing, um, keep in mind you should have some preparation so that your body um, can handle it and you can overcome um, any challenges you may experience. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.